So let's move to the last uh, section of this, the first chapter. We're going to do the second chapter today too, so don't forget to download it. So uh, let the last topic for this uh, introduction chapter is the classification, classification of electrochemical techniques. Because we have like maybe five or six electrochemical techniques, so it is a little bit difficult to memorize them. So let's, uh, so that's why we have need to classify it. So uh, based on the pink diagram, so uh, start from the electroanalytical technique, we can separate it or classify them into interfacial technique and bulk technique. Inter, uh, the interfacial technique is the electrochemical technique measuring things that occur on the electrode interface. So that's called, that's why it's called or interfacial. The bulk technique is the technique that measures the properties of, of the whole solution, the bulk solution. That's why they call it bulk, because we are measuring the properties of the whole solution. And the only technique under the bulk technique is called conductometry, which is to measure the ion, the conductivity of the solution. That's the only bulk technique that we have. For the interfacial technique, we can further classify it into two classes, static techniques and dynamic techniques. The static technique is the interfacial technique, which doesn't have really the Faradayic reaction, which doesn't have the redox reaction. Basically, there's, there's no current flows in the static technique. And the, stat, the only static technique that we are interested in here is potentiometry that which we can learn it today, potentiometry. In contrast, the dynamic techniques are the technique that have the current flows in it, they have the current flows into it. So basically we generate the redox reaction in the dynamic technique. And there are so many dynamic techniques, so we can further classify it into control potential and constant current. So let's start with the constant current because you may be more familiar with it. So if we have the constant current flows in the system, it's going to be in this category. And we have two techniques, coulombmetry and electrogravimetry. And we're going to talk about it at the end of the whole semester, electrogravimetry and coulombmetry. The uh, most interesting uh, class of the electrochemical technique which I love is control potential techniques in contrast. So the first one, the constant current, we apply the constant current as the name said. The control potential means that we control the potential in this reaction and we can gonna measure the current later and the current is not gonna, not gonna be constant, but we can control the potential according to the name. And the techniques uh, which are fall into this category is called amperometry voltmetry, coulombmetry, and electrogravimetry. Notice that coulombmetry and electrogravimetry can be both constant current and controlled potential. That's why I have the line here. And the amperometry and voltmetry is the control potential techniques. 